Hello and welcome to the latest edition of In the Weeds. In this episode, we explore CBD and the world of CBD production right here in the Okanagan. To start the journey of how CBD is made, we travel to Vitalis, the Kelowna-based company making world-leading extraction machines that are being used in the cannabis industry to create CBD. Vitalis plays a really critical part. Um, our machines play into a, into a place where it's between the hemp coming off the fields and the end product going to our customers through, say, the various dispensaries or pharmaceutical facilities uh, that it may be going out through. So taking a look at how to make CBD oil with a CO2 extraction machine, uh, we're taking carbon dioxide or CO2, we're pressurizing it, um, we're adding some temperature to that or some heat to that, which creates a solvent out of that carbon dioxide. We then pass that over um, the hemp product, which pulls out things like oils and fats and waxes, which contain the CBD. While Vitalis's CO2 extraction technology is prominently used by the cannabis industry to make CBD, the machines have proven to be very versatile. When we talk about supercritical fluid extraction because it's used every single day in the products um, that, that you see and are on your body or that you consume, um, whether if you're having decaffeinated coffee or decaffeinated tea, um, we're seeing it being utilized in the hops industry, we're seeing it being utilized in the essential oils for things like lavender, for example, um, in the spicing industry for things like turmeric, which is really exciting. Uh, we see it all over the place to be able to create a very clean um, essential oil or very clean end product. That exact technology is being used by fellow Okanagan company Valens Grow Works at their production center in Lake Country. So when we started Valens we were a big believer in that, that there was cleaner delivery methods of, of uh, ingesting cannabis rather than smoking. When you smoke it you're burning pathogens and carcinogenics. Uh, so we actually went after derivatives, so different types of oils or, or topical creams, beverages, edibles. So basically what we do at Valens is physically remove the cannabinoids from the physical plant material and then make different formulations or isolations of those, those products. At Valens we actually don't cultivate anything, we actually source it and, and we have different partnerships like Canopy Growth, Tilray Sundial, uh, Organigram, where we actually get physical plant material in the building, make the extract depending on the, the type of extraction we want, whether it's CO2, ethanol or hydrocarbon to make different refinements and then that's basically what goes directly into the, the vape pen or the edible is that ingredient. Valens is one of the companies ready to fill the market with CBD tinctures, vape pens and beverages once legalized this October. Yeah, so as, as Health Canada rolled out legalization, they actually only legalized flour and oil. Uh, a lot of the other products that you're, you're seeing today aren't actually in the legal framework from the government or government licensed facilities. So those aren't coming on until October 17. BC Bud is known internationally, so we're, we're excited to kind of start launching new products and really give people a diversified product stream where they don't have to just smoke flour, where they can have a beverage or an edible and, and a cleaner delivery method. Unlike its fellow cannabinoid THC, CBD doesn't get you high, but its healing properties are being used to treat things like anxiety in people and pets, as well as muscle pain and insomnia and other common ailments. I first thought of CBD because um, I was trying to deal with anxiety, especially as a university student. Anxiety was really getting to me, as well as depression. Um, I also struggled with daily nausea, and I got introduced to it through already visiting the local dispensaries, trying to use cannabis to help with those problems, and then discovering isolated CBD. It's it's really versatile, you can vaporize it, you can cook with it, you can put it in oils, you can put it in bath salts, you can put it in everything. Despite its benefits, avid users still struggle to obtain CBD through legal retail stores. So when legalization came around, I was working in a dispensary at the time that was operating illegally. Um, and people were very scared about not being able to find CBD. They had had such a drastic change in their life for the better because of CBD. And when they realized it was going to be a lot harder to access, they'd have to go online or they'd have to go to Kamloops and they'd have to pay a lot more than they were previously paying. Um, the side of me that had seen so much change and so much benefits for people over the years couldn't sit by and not try and get something out on the market. I make bath salts and I make tinctures. Um, the bath salts are really nice. Topical CBD can be really beneficial. It doesn't have to be metabolized by your liver if you're applying it topically. So for skin conditions like eczema or psoriasis, it can work really well or just even um, pain, it can work really nicely if you've got overall body aches. Um, the tinctures are really nice too. They're isolate uh, with oil and so you can actually use them topically, which is nice. Again, you can apply them directly to knuckles if you have bad arthritis, um, but you can also take them orally. 
Legalization is a good step forward. Um, I definitely will not argue that. It's been very frustrating in the short term for accessibility for CBD and THC. Um, you know, like I was saying, you have to go to Kamloops, you have to go online. There's some uh, indigenous stores popping up on reservation land, which is nice. It makes it more accessible. Um, but it has been kind of disappointing for people and, and people are really feeling the crunch of not being able to access cannabis for a medicinal reason. Thanks again for watching In the Weeds. In our next episode, we'll take a look at 420 and what it means in the world of post-legalization.